if all the plants fall near the parent plant there will be a struggle for food water and sunlight in this case there needs the seeds need to be scattered over a large area and only those seeds which receive the favorable conditions develop into an adult plant the carrying away of fruits and seeds to distant places from their parent plant is known as dispersal so the carrying away of the fruits and seeds to distant places away from their parent plant is known as dispersal seeds and fruits of many plants have developed features in order to get dispersed so we see that the seeds and fruits have different features so they have developed special features in order to get dispersed forces of nature like wind water and animals help in dispersal of seeds so we are seeing that the carrying away of fruits and seeds to distant places from their parent plant is known as dispersal and the seeds and fruits of many plants have developed special features in order to get dispersed forces of nature like wind water and animals help in the dispersal of seeds they are called agents of dispersal so these are called your as your agents of dispersal that is forces of nature like wind water and animals help in the dispersal of seeds and they are known as the agents of dispersal seed size is an important factor that determines how a seed is dispersed so the most important thing is the size of the seed so the size of the seed determines or is an important factor that determines how a seed is dispersed so talking about seed dispersal the carrying away of fruits and seeds to distant places from their parent plants is known as dispersal and seeds and fruits of many plants have developed special features in order to get dispersed forces of nature like wind water and animals help in the dispersal of seeds and they are called agents of dispersal the size of the seed is an important factor that determines how a seed is dispersed so the first we are going to talk about dispersal by wind how a seed is dispersed by wind seeds which are dispersed by wind are either light in weight or have air or wings so talk we have already seen that the seed size is an important factor that determines how a seed is dispersed so talking about dispersal by wind seeds which are dispersed by wind are either light in weight or they have hair or wings dandelion and cotton have hair while maple so talking about we see that the dandelion and the cotton have hair while maple drumstick and jagaranda seeds have wings and this help the seeds to be carried away with the winds so talking about the dispersal by wind we see that seeds which are dispersed by wind are either light in weight or they have air or wings the dandelion and the cotton have hair while maple drumstick and jagaranda seeds have wings and this help the seeds to be carried away with the winds so to be dispersed by wind the seeds either have to be light in weight 
or they need to have air or wings. The examples are your dandelion and cotton have air while maple drumstick and jagaranda seeds have wings and thus they are being dispersed by wind. So our topic was dispersal of seeds and the agents of dispersal are the forces of nature like wind, water and animals and to be dispersed by wind the seeds have to be either light in weight or have air or wings and hence it could be dispersed by wind. Talking about the next is your dispersal by water. So how seeds get dispersed by water. The seeds or fruits of plants that grow in or near flowing water get dispersed by water. So plants, the seeds or the fruits that is of plants that grow in or near flowing water then they get dispersed by water. The coconut has a fibrous outer covering. It has hair trapped between its fibers. The lotus has a spongy fruit. These features enable them to float on water. So these are the two plants that get dispersed by water that is the coconut and your lotus. So talking about dispersal by water we see that the seeds or fruits of plants that grow in or near flowing water get dispersed by water. The coconut has a fibrous outer covering and it has hair trapped between its fibers. The lotus has a spongy fruit and these features enable them to get dispersed or to get to float on water. Next is the dispersal by animals including humans. So the next type first dispersal is dispersal by wind then dispersal by water. Now we are going to talk about dispersal by animals including the humans. So some seeds have hooks or spikes or stiff air. So these are the features of seeds. So they either have hooks or spikes or they have stiff airs that can easily get caught in the fur or feathers of passing animals. So there are certain seeds that have hooks, spikes or stiff air that can easily get caught in the feather or in the fur of animals passing. These seeds fall off when the animals accidentally brush against a surface such as a bush. So if you see certain animals as they pass along they go and rub themselves against a bush or a wall or any rough surface and when they brush themselves these seeds tend to fall from their body. Seeds of the Datura, Xanthium, Tiger's Claw are dispersed by animals. So we are seeing the examples of seeds that are dispersed by animals. So talking about the dispersal of water, we see that the seeds and fruits of plants that grow in or near flowing water, they get dispersed by water. The coconut has a fibrous outer covering and it has hair trapped between its fibers. The lotus has a spongy fruit. So these features enable them to float on water. Next talking about dispersal by animals and humans, we see that some seeds have hooks or spikes or stiff air that can easily get caught in the fur or feathers of animals passing by. And these seeds fall off when the animals accidentally brush themselves against a surface such as a bush. The seeds of the Datura, 
xanthium tiger's claw are dispersed by animals so we have seen the agents of dispersal that is wind water and animals and the dispersal by wind the dispersal by water the dispersal by animals including the humans we see that many fruits are tasty to eat human beings and animals eat the fleshy parts of some fruits like the lychee peach mango orange and papaya once they eat the fruits the seeds are then thrown away on the ground many birds and animals eat the fruits along with the seeds the seeds pass out undigested through their waste or droppings and reach the ground so we are talking about the dispersal by animals including humans so we see that certain seeds have spikes or pores or for any uh, hairy substance that gets caught in the fur or feathers of animals and they tend to fall off when the animals accidentally brush themselves against a surface example a bush next we are talking about the dispersal by humans so many fruits are tasty to eat so human beings and animals eat the fleshy parts of some fruits like your lychee peach mango orange and papaya and once they eat the fruit the seeds are just thrown away on the ground many birds and animals they eat the fruits along with the seeds and the seeds then pass out undigested through their waste or droppings and reach the ground so what the animals and plants do they eat the fruit as well as the seed and then the seed comes out undigested either through their droppings or waste and reach the ground jamun jamun cherry and apple seeds are dispersed in this way that is they eat the fruit along with the seed and the seed comes out undigested either through their waste or droppings examples are the jamun cherry and the apple seeds are dispersed in this way some animals like your squirrels collect fruits or seeds and bury them in places far away from the parent plant so what does a squirrel do a squirrel collects seeds or fruits and they bury them in places that are far away from their par parent plants they often forget from they often forget these buried seeds which begin to germinate in their new location so talking about the dispersal by humans we see that many fruits are tasty to eat and the human beings and animals eat fruits the fleshy parts of fruits like your peach your lychee mango orange and papaya and once they eat the fruit they throw away the seed many birds and animals they eat the fruits along with the seeds and the seeds pass out undigested either through their waste or droppings and reach the ground jamun cherry and apple seeds are dispersed in this way some animals like the squirrels they collect fruits or seeds and bury them in places far away from their parent plants and they often forget these buried seeds which begin to germinate in their new location